If you are getting raw file system errors and Windows won't let you format, don't worry. I will show you three methods. The last method works even if nothing else does. But let's use disk management, a built-in Windows tool to manage drives. Press Windows plus X. Click disk management. Here you will see all connected drives. Look for your USB drive. It should say raw or unallocated and show the correct size. If your USB drive shows a partition or volume, right click it and choose delete volume. From here, you will see an unallocated space. Now we'll create a fresh partition and format it properly. Right click on unallocated space. Select new simple volume. And click next on the wizard. Choose the full size. Assign a drive letter. And on the next screen, select NTFS or FAT32 as the file system. For most people, NTFS is the best option since it supports large files and has better performance on Windows like file permissions and encryptions. But if you plan to use the USB not only on Windows, but on other operating systems and devices like game consoles, smart TVs, and cameras, choose FAT32 since it is more compatible. Just know it won't handle files larger than 4 gigabytes. Keep the quick format checked and click next. From there, click finish to complete the process. Once finished, your USB drive should now be working properly and accessible again. If you get an error or it still doesn't work, no worries. Let's try the next step, which is even more powerful. Press Windows plus R to open the render lock box. Type CMD and press Ctrl plus Shift plus Enter to open command prompts as administrator. Let's use Dixpad, which is a powerful command line tool built into Windows. Type Dixpad. This launches Dixpad, which lets us directly manage disk and partitions. Now let's list all available disk by typing list disk. This will show all disk connected to your PC. Carefully note your USB drive, which is usually listed by size. Be 100% sure you are selecting the right disk, so you don't wipe the wrong one. I'll now select my USB drive by typing select disk. And replacing X with your disk number. When done, it's time to wipe everything on the disk by typing clean. This clears all partitions and formatting on the drive, making it blank like factory reset. After this, Windows will see it as a raw or unallocated drive. Now we are creating a new primary partition, which gives Windows space to format. Type create partition primary. We yeah, are the most important stage of the process, which is to format the partition. Type format. FS NTFS quick. This formats the drive with the NTFS file system and that's a quick format to save time. You can type FAT32 here instead if you need FAT32 like I explained earlier. Now let's assign a drive letter by typing assign. This assigns a drive letter so Windows can recognize and open the USB drive in File Explorer. When done, type exit to exit disk path. When done, your drive should be working properly and easily accessible again. If any error happens or disk path gets stuck, then the third method is for you. You can use any free partition manager like this one. I'll leave the link below if you want to try it out. 